Hello, this is Mr. Woodruff, and I'm here uh, to show you how to make uh, what I'm calling a wheel bushing. This will help your pencil spin in your mousetrap car side frames uh, because it'll be plastic. It'll be a little smoother than the cardboard. So let's do a new part. And let's do sketch. And then let's do the center circle, or just the circle tool. Let's start on the front plane. And let's start by making a circle. Smart dimension, so I like the uh, I like to press the S key on the keyboard and go to smart dimension. And let's make this this is going to be the outermost diameter. Let's make this 0.7 of an inch. Okay, I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that tool. And now I'm going to extrude this, and I'm going to extrude this 0.1 of an inch. Actually, works just fine. So I'm going to click the green check mark. Okay, so now I've got like a puck or a disc here. Let's do a new sketch and let's do this, the circle tool. It's going to ask you what plane or face do you want to draw on? Click on the front of this puck. Okay, and now I'm going to draw another circle. And this time I'm going to smart dimension this circle at 0.5 of an inch. Okay, now I'm going to extrude this. So I'm going to go to features, extrude boss base. And I just, I'm going to hold the center scroll button and make sure that the, it, it's extruding up. Make sure that merge result is checked and we can do a blind um, extrusion, but let's make this at 0.3 of an inch, right? That looks good. Uh, green check mark, All right? Now we just have to cut our hole uh, and then we will be done. So let's go to sketch circle tool, clicking on this front face again, and then let's um, start at the origin and let's make another circle, smart dimension, and let's make this uh, 0.31 of an inch, okay? And now let's cut this. So sketch, I'm sorry, features, extruded cut. Let's change it from blind to through all. Make sure it's going the right way. That looks good, green check mark. And now here's a bushing. Now, the reason that I made this inner, inner circle or this inner hole 0.31 is because um, the pencil, it, it has a diameter of about 0.265 uh, of an inch. But what happens when we print this on the 3D printer is that hole's actually going to get smaller. And it's going to get smaller by about 0 0.02 of an inch. So that's going to take the hole down to about 0.29 of an inch, uh, which should be plenty of space for this to spin uh, or our, our pencil to spin within this wheel bushing. Um, now, to save this for 3D printing, not only do you want to save this as a bushing, so let's go to File, Save As. Make sure that you're in your shared folder. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use period two's folder for this. Um, and I'm going to go, oops, sorry. Mr. Woodruff, Mousetrap Car, My Mousetrap Car. And I'm going to save this as my new bushing. And I'm going to save it as a SolidWorks part first. Okay, next, I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I wanna save this as an, what's called an STL file. STL, like St. Louis, Missouri. Um, the reason I wanna save this as an STL file is because, um, just click yes here, it's, it's changing it into, it's changing the part into triangles. The reason we wanna save it as an STL file is because we want to be able to open it in a 3D printing software. And um, the 3D printing software can't read a SolidWorks file, but it can read a uh, STL file. So once this is saved, you're good to go. Uh, and we can uh, pull this into Cura and then print it uh, on the 3D printer. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have questions.